phone. So, um, key hardware differences are obviously there's no um, slide out keyboard against the G1, but also um, Google have introduced this new search button here. And the search button will work um, in whatever feature you're in. So, say you're in your contacts feature, then you can search for a contact. Okay. So, I can easily just show you that. If we go into contacts. Search maybe for um, someone beginning with F. So there we go. Bring out all my people beginning with F there and go straight in. So that's how the search button would work there in the contacts. Okay. Um, but also, if I was in the browser, I could use the search button again. Right. Yeah. Um, so they're the key hardware differences. Um, software differences are, when, once you've taken a picture on the Magic, then you can upload that straight to Picasa. Okay. Um, so, I can show you, I just took a picture a moment ago of some people. Which was... So it gives me an opportunity to share that. Yeah. So if I click on share, and it gives me options. So the standard options here are send it off in a Google Mail, send it in an MMS, or upload it to Picasa. Okay. I've since downloaded an application for Twitter, um, which is clever enough to know that they can dial into that and you can upload a picture to Twitter as well. Um, so I can literally just upload that picture to Picasa and type in a, um, a name if I wanted to. Um, I can use the track ball there just to... I'm just going to go with the, my Vodafone folder there and then I'm going to upload. So it's just going to go ahead and do that now in the background and I can watch out for it on my notification bar and it will tell me when that's all been uploaded. Will there be any bespoke Vodafone applications? <laughs> Um, no, it's just the Google applications that okay. are on there. Yep. Um, which At the time of release, will Cupcake be a part of this? Yes, this is on Cupcake, so okay. we're seeing now. Yep. Um, so you can also um, take a video with this as well. It's got a neat um, camcorder application, which is different to um, the G1. So I could take a video. Um, I think this will show my previous video here, um, which was just a short video here. And again, that gives me opportunities to then share that. And so it knows it can, I can either email it, MMS it, or I can upload it straight to YouTube. Okay. Um, which is quite a neat application. So very, very similar. Again, very easy to use. Just upload. There we go. That's doing that. And go back to home. And again, I know it's just happening in the background there. So I can just see. I've got something uploading to YouTube there. And it'll just let me know when that's been done. Okay. Um, so we've got an on screen keyboard um, with this phone. So if I just drop into the Google Talk application and maybe we will create a chat with Sam who sat here with us. Um, if I just tap in there, brings up a keyboard in portrait. Uh, landscape as well? Yeah, so if I literally just turn that we'll move to landscape so you get those slightly bigger buttons. This is great if you want to use like two thumbs whereas the portrait's really good for just one handed. Sure. Yeah, so I mean we can just get me on that video there so we'll just do a quick I do it sideways. Um, to sound. So that's the that's the keyboard. Do you want to have a go on the keyboard? Um, what memory's on board when the chips? Is there an SD card slot as well? There's a micro SD card okay. slot behind the behind the back cover, um, and that's a two gigabyte card that you get in the box. Right. And you'll use that card for pictures and videos and music that you sideload onto the phone. Um, the onboard memory is around about 150 meg, and that's okay. where your applications that you download from the marketplace go to. And battery life? Battery life, I um, can't remember the actual stats, but I've been charging it once a day. So right. every night I charge it 
you really want to do that every. And so just DPA as well. It, it reaches yes. all the network bands. Yes, okay. Absolutely. Different parts of the world. Would it be cord band? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else can I show you? I could show you maps. Sure. Can you look at maps. Yeah. Um, so I think when the um, G1 launched, Google hadn't actually launched Latitude, and they hadn't actually launched Street View. And then not from the so, UK. No. Yeah. So that they've come through now. Obviously, you can get those on G1 as well. Um, so if I just find my location, and it'll bring us down to where we are here in Greek Street. It's just you can see it there getting a GPS fix. Mm -hmm. Um, and it will download that map shortly. Okay. I'm already on the uh, street view setting here. Okay. I can literally I can come in and out of that setting quite easily. If I go into menu and then map mode, I can then choose whether it's just a standard map or whether it's street view. So I'm quite happy being in street view there. I know I'm in street view because I've got these blue lines around the streets and they're the ones that have got the street view sure. on them. So I can literally just, um, if I just place myself here on Greek Street, let's touch on that. I'll try that again. Okay, so we're going to go and have a look in Charing Cross Road. So I can actually just click on that there. And that will take us through to Street View. Okay, it's still loading up. The image there. Okay, so that's the Charing Cross Road. Um, obviously, we can have a look at that in landscape. Just loading that up. So I've got the compass switched on now, which enables me to actually use the compass in the phone to have a look at the street view. So if I literally just turn the phone, then it will show me around that street, and I can look up into the sky and down onto the ground. And I can press on those arrows, which will walk me then further up the street or further around that way. So. Yeah, what's the street date for the magic? It's this Friday, 1st of May. Okay. Yeah, you can go into the stores um, and pick up a magic from there or online or call centres. Um, and you'll be able to get it on our uh, £35 a month tariff, you'll be able to get it for free on a £35 a month tariff. Um, that gives you 600 minutes, unlimited text and unlimited data. You're signing up for a 24 month plan. Okay. So, oh, do I come out of there? Just press home. Home will always take me um, back to that main screen. Um, if I hold down on home though, quite a nice feature is that it'll show me all my open applications I can literally then just go to whichever one I was in last that I choose to go to. Okay. Um, I've got some contacts just put on my home screen there which are like my favourite people that I talk to and obviously there's um, I've got quite a lot of information in there so I've got addresses as well and if I was to click on that then that would take me through to Google Maps so it's all kind of linked up together. Uh, which is a really nice feature. And you can really see that when you have a look at some of the applications. I don't know if you're familiar with some of the applications. So I've just put some in a demo folder here. Um, the Shop Savvy um, application is quite nice. Okay. Can I demonstrate that? Sure. Yep. Okay. My book there. So I'll use an actual item to do this. So this app works in landscape. So I'm going to search for a product. And I'm going to do it by the camera rather than searching for an actual name or something. It just takes a moment to open up the camera application. There we go. It's got the camera application open now and it's using it as a barcode reader. 
it's got that red line in the middle and it's searching for a barcode. So as I drop the barcode in, it will recognise when it's there. There we go, green line says, got the barcode. And it's now found the product there. So you can see there. The book. And then I can have it, it's already pulled through from um, the internet where I can actually get it. I can get it online at £2.40. Um, or because it's kicked off the GPS there, it knows where I am and it'll find a local shop and how much it is in a local shop. Okay. I can click through to that and it'll show me where that is on Google Maps, which is quite nice. Um, other applications which are quite cool, um, I really like the, the Wikitude application um, just because it shows how again it's using GPS and it uses the camera um, and the internet as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some local points of interest uh, near my current location um, and I'm going to do it in the camera. Strength search. So it's getting my fix. Just taking a moment. Deciding to misbehave. Sometimes the applications do that. Some of them, some of them are written by you know really professional companies, mm -hmm. um, and other ones are written in you know some guy's bedroom, and they can do that because the language is just so easy for it to write in. So sometimes some of the applications are not as stable. So I'm not going to demonstrate that one again. <laughs> um, but uh, what else have we got in here? Quip. That's a really cool one. Um, again, gets that GPS fix so it knows where you are. Um, so uh, here I am in London, fancy a coffee, launch the local cafes, and it pulls through what's nearby. So I think there's a Costa nearby, yeah, let's go for Costa because you, you know you get served there really easily. Um, and what I've got here is I've got a phone number if I wanted to call them, and I've got their website. There's a review that somebody's left there as well, which I can go into and have a look at. And there's also their address. So if I was to click on that, it would take me through to Google Maps. And it will show where we are there. I can just zoom in. So that's where the Costa is, and that's where we are really nearby. And I can then get some directions to that. Okay. Um, so, is there anything else that you think no, you'd like to see? No, I think that's okay. Thank you for that. Okay.